luck. Oh, Lord. Fine Friday it is out there, y'all. Want to hear a P.O. positive? Let's hear one from Mildred Meow Jenkins. Hi, Jack. I would like to thank our own Robert Harris. <laughs> okay, let's get this to its destination. Malada. Hi, Beth. Got a delivery for you. Uh, where do you want it? Oh, dear, Thomas. I almost didn't see you come in there. I was lost in thought, I suppose. Please just put it on the counter, if you will. Thank you. Of course. And thank you again for a lovely Christmas dinner. I had a marvelous time with you all. We loved having you over, Beth. Anytime, Beth. Anytime. Emily and I had a great time. Although always is not going to last forever, it seems. Well put, Thomas. I do like that. <laughs> it was a bit unexpected, but I can understand why the grass is greener in the south for you right now. My reason for leaving is wonderful, for sure. I can only count myself fortunate. And I wouldn't miss a thing now that the little one is on the way. Aww. Oh, but I will miss you too. As Helen Keller once wrote, so long as the memory of certain beloved friends lives in my heart, I shall say that life is good. Oh. That's nice. I'd write it down, but I forgot my pen. So, haven't you ever thought of moving closer to Meredith? To the city? She is living quite a ways away, right? <sighs> thought about it? Yes. Your news has put things into perspective, I suppose. But leaving here would sure be a big step. M maybe too big, mm. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe Meredith will even make it out here one day. <laughs> one day. And there's always the phone, of course. And don't forget the postal service. <laughs> Quite right you are. Well, I won't She'll keep make you it out longer, later Thomas. on. I need to sort through this new delivery you've just brought in. And believe you me, that's going to take me a while. <laughs> Maybe it's time for some new glasses. Huh. Until next time, my friend. Up and at them. See, See you, ya, Beth. Beth. Good luck with the transition. You are... New city. Actual city. No more town life. Let's do this package. And then come around straight ahead. What we got? Oh, this house right here, I think. Fourth Street. Wait. Uh, turn the music off, please. I like it, but you know, it's 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 copyright. It's not good for YouTube. Part and Little parcel. one, maybe like a book or something. Ding dong. Nobody's home. Alright. Round we go. And straight ahead. See handwriting on this one. Here you go, 104. Down the curve. 
right at the end. Let's turn ourselves around, ready to get out of here. Another satisfied customer. Unless it's Bills. Beautiful house. There we go. This the game is so cozy. A different 104? And then we're going to the left. On to Lakeview. Hello? What are you doing all the way out here, dude? Meh, my fellow, fellow posty. A belated Christmas gift? Maybe. This is tiny. What you doing in here, Frank? Look who's here. Hey, Thomas. Yeah, I needed to take care Fireworks. of Fireworks. Hardly any customers at the post office anyway. For New Year's? I don't know, Frank. What if there's someone who needs to send something urgent? If it's really urgent, I'll drive it over to the distribution center myself. They know they can count on me. Can't say that you're wrong there, Frank. That big sucker you're carrying is for me, huh? Right on time. It's all so coming many together. fireworks. Hey, Thomas, you can keep Don't a little light secret, a right? match near that place. Of course, Frank. Great. It's not a big deal in any case. A buddy of mine was able to get his hands on some premium, premium. fireworks. I'm selling them with a nice profit. And anything I can't sell, <laughs> well, uh -oh. let's just say you want to be outside Moe's Diner when the clock strikes 12 on New Year's Eve. All right. That sounds illegal and dangerous. In other words, classic Frank Coleman. Just how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, wouldn't life be boring without a walk on the wild side every now and then? Yeah, maybe. Uh, but do you have any experience with setting off fireworks? Who needs experience? Just light the fuse and get out of Dodge. I better finish up, Thomas. Can't keep the customers waiting forever. All right, Frank. See you at the <laughs> office. See ya. Be careful with those, alright? Ooh, skid. Gotta take a left up here. Heading to the to the diner or, or around it, it looks like. I'll think into the diner. First time in the diner this game. Right, they got a package. Okay. 
Let's get this to its destination. I think it should be this one. It is on Lakeview after all. Okay, so we still need to check Spanner Dam for the mood shots. According to this, it offers damn fine views. So, but um, hey, Mr. Mailman, come on over. Talk to us for a sec. Gabe, we don't have time for idle chit chat. He can help us out, Ilsa. No one knows the town like a mailman, right, Mr. Weiss? <laughs> Quite right. Uh, what do you need? I know the ins and yeah, outs Gabe, of it all. What do you need? Well, we're scouting out this beautiful town of yours for our report on small town America. It's great, but we could use the inside track. So, any secret spots we're bound to miss, but shouldn't? Well... Watchtower, yeah? Watchtower up at Eagle Peak. You can take in the view among the treetops. But make sure you watch out for those creaky steps. No, oh, hey, Maureen. Now, here's your coffee, folks. Sorry for the delay. <sighs> Faucet's been acting up again, which should have been fixed yesterday. <laughs> oh, you want me to check on it, Miss Hennessy? Oh, now look at you, my knight in woolen armor. Would you, dear? I can take a look. Well, is Do you, that nice does he you? know anything uh, about it? Kitchen, honey. Ashley, someone who does know what he's doing is coming in. Uh, show him where the busted faucet is. A and stay out of his way. Ashley's a sweetheart, but when it comes to fixing things, huh, that boy is all thumbs. See, this is what the segment should be. Interacting with the townsfolk, helping out. I love it. That's very Hallmark movie of you. Oh, such a nice fellow. Yeah, you're in good hands, Maureen. Gabriel may look and act like a naive little pup, but he can fix anything. Well, except for our van. But other than that... Oh, is that a fact? Well, in that case, I can think of a few more things he could fix around here, if you catch my drift. We'll just pretend we didn't hear that, right? <laughs> hmm. uh, let me just go check him out. Uh, check on him, I mean. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. So, anyway. So? Oh, uh, wait. You had the Connor Price experience the other day. Have you recovered yet? <laughs> I actually encountered him outside the motel yesterday evening. Still fuming, albeit literally, with a cigarette. Yeah. Really? Oh, did he greet you with, good to see you, man? Yes, how did you know? That's his go-to when he's forgotten your name. <laughs> it's good to see you, man, for guys, and hey, lady, for gals. Of course. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't worry about it though. He called me Lisa for the better part of a year. Connor's the same a lot. letters, different order. Yeah. I guess after this week, I can update my resume with not just segment producer and car problem solver, mm. but also Connor Price Wrangler. Gabriel seems very nice, though. That should make things easier. Oh yeah. He is a big old puppy dog. He's as uncomplicated as Connor is complicated. So that's Interesting. a welcome antidote. Well now, sounds like someone is getting a little warm under the collar for our Gabriel. Just between you and me, honey. I have You're a Gabriel. Hunch that feeling is more than mutual. <laughs> Maureen, you shouldn't startle people like that. All I know is, I just spent five minutes with our knight in the kitchen, and during that time, he mentioned Ilsa about 12 times. Oh. Really? Interesting. Well, uh... Faucet's all better now, Mo. And we should be hitting the road right about now. Right. Thanks, Maureen. Nice talking to you, Thomas. Nice talking to you, too. Bye now, folks. Be sure to check in again soon, you hear? Huh. These TV folks sure know how to liven things up, don't they? 
Indeed, Maureen. <laughs> you haven't even met the main event, Connor Price. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, you know about my little New Year's Eve shindig, right? I'm counting on you and Emily. We'll party like it's 1986. Because it will be. <laughs> nice. Dang, this is... Okay, yeah, no, they don't have phones. <laughs> or maybe like super we'll duper it. brick we'll phones. Try. Best get back to it. See you, Mo. Bye now. Or entertainments like books, maybe video games, TV. Or outside, which in the snow, not as ideal. Not as, uh, not as good, you know? Alright, I think going back the way I came is the most, uh, direct route. Strong air stop sign. Let me whack something with that stop sign like in Lethal Company. Ooh, another tree house. Looking good. House is looking good, guys. Let's go. Bye. Ding donk. They must be out of town for the holidays. Just the fact that that's so normal. Oh, they're away for the holidays. Like, they're probably not going to get back till, you know, January 5th or 6th. They'll just leave it here for two weeks. One, two weeks. Like, that. that's so foreign to me. And that's the last one. Whew. Nice mailbox. Look at that lettering. That gold. I like it. I like it a lot. Almost back to the post office. Oh, I just realized there's reindeer on every lamp. That's so cute. That's so cool. Friday evening. I'll get it. Meredith? Hello. A uh, very good evening. Am I Christian Carmichael. Uh, Who are you? Voice? Yes, sir. That would be me. Ah, fantastic. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, my name is uh, Christian Carmichael, and I represent Fly into Florida. Oh. <gasps> is this where we get a holiday? I, I have great news for you, Mrs. Weiss. It's been a while, but, uh, do you perhaps remember entering into our fly into Florida sweepstakes? Um, now that you mention it, I think so. Yeah. Was that the one on the back of the juice carton? That's the one. And I am more than happy to tell you that you are the winner Woo! of the Ooh. grand prize. Woohoo! The grand prize? Wow, uh, fantastic um i'm afraid i've forgotten what it was <laughs> to fly into florida uh, uh no problem mrs weiss uh you have won a two-week trip to florida for two wow. Ooh -hoo. florida really i won i have never won anything in my life uh, hold on i need to tell my husband Honey, we won! I'm talking to a gentleman from Fly into Florida, and he says we've won a two week holiday for two. Tell him he's dreaming. It's probably time skip. <laughs> time shift skim. Get out of here, Florida? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Isn't it great? We're so happy. Thank you so much. But You're who's gonna hold down the fort for both our jobs? You've got plenty of time to let it all sink in. Next, we'll be sending you an extra special envelope. It will contain a confirmation letter, airline tickets, hotel tickets, and I totally forgot to say this earlier, a $500 check covering any additional expenses. Ooh. Wow. I can't believe this is happening. Extra spending money, food, etc. Oh, definitely is, Mrs. Weiss. And we'll 
will be making sure you both have the car, car. maybe no, I, there's one thing I must stress the dates can't be altered so if you have plans for the first two weeks of September September that's, that's far and I hope this answers all of nine the months away well congratulations on winning and we look forward to seeing you fly into Florida thank you bye bye thank you I think I need to sit down for a moment. Must have put our address because they're just gonna mail it. Didn't ask any uh, oh, uh, other details. Robert. Sorry, honey, I, I can't celebrate with you right now, but I'll make it up to you tomorrow night at Moe's. Mm, I will hold you to that. <laughs> Have fun on the ice, son. And when you start to freeze out there, ice fishing time. Sunny Florida. <laughs> Hopefully that helps. I mean, it does for me sometimes. Still, how does this not melt the ice, you know? Drill it a hole, get that fire pit going. Ice fishing's a lot of work. And it's cold, but we're fishing all right. Are you sure that yeah. that fire that's what I keep thinking. I didn't bring my swim trunks. <laughs> Don't worry, Thomas. He travels mostly upwards. And hopefully also in our direction. <laughs> hopefully. Man, it's nice out here. The setting could use a guitar. Campfires and guitars don't exactly bring back fond memories for me. Me neither. That guitar scene in Animal House pretty much nailed it. Hey, what was Emily going on about when I picked you up? You guys are going to Florida? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she won. Apparently, we won a two-week trip. Wow, congrats. Not that Florida's nice little pre-retirement trip, you know? Someplace else you'd rather go? I'm perfectly fine staying right here. And you're probably perfectly right, Robert. Yeah, I'm not always perfectly sure about that. Could be that I'm a little stuck in my ways. But at least I'm not desperately looking for the one, you know? Mm, making yourself happy and content first. Breaking on your own stuff. Yeah, just yeah. give it a little time. Or a lot. Fair. Nothing wrong with that. Wouldn't it be ideal if Mrs. Wright dropped by my house one day? You have no idea. Wouldn't it also be ideal if we caught the winning lottery ticket from this here frozen lake? <laughs> Let's drink to that. Would be a shame if Emily filled that flask of yours for nothing. Fair. Ha! Finally a sensible remark. Cheers. Cheers. Now let's catch a fish and get the hell out of here. Okay. Don't think it's quite that easy, but you know. We'll do our best. Mm -hmm.